Red Rock Wildlife Management Area 4,100 feet in elevation. This arid landscape is home to 76 species of vertebrae. And for the time being, one helicopter. For the next three days, the New Mexico Department of Game and Fish will gather here and conduct their 35th capture since 1979 for desert bighorn sheep. We began by preparing medical supplies and organizing a veterinary site. Our veterinarian and biologists shared insights with the team to make sure we knew how to best help the sheep. The sheep would be given a sedative for their ride in the trailer, as well as medications and radio collars. Samples will also be taken to determine the health of the herd. Currently, the Red Rock herd is free of viruses and diseases, such as Movi, which spreads from domestic to wild sheep. The crew is ready for the first sheep of the capture. The helicopter has started its whirl on a cool morning in southern New Mexico. Here comes the first ram, hanging securely from the helicopter. Once on the ground, the crew begins to unwrap it and move it to the veterinary station. The first order of business is to record the ram's weight and vitals. Blood is collected and the sheep is tested for any disease or sickness before transferring. When finished, the sheep is carried to the trailer where it will rest on the way to its new home. Throughout all stages of the process, there's great concern for the sheep's well-being. The Red Rock area was purchased in 1960 as a propagation site for several exotic and experimental species. In the late 70s, it became home to 46 desert bighorn, the state's remaining population. Having the Red Rock area has been crucial to restoring the population and taking them off the New Mexico endangered species list. There are now over 1,100 sheep of the same unique subspecies and genetics in the state due to the success of these captures. The sheep are moved out of the 1,530-acre Red Rock area via helicopter. Use of the helicopter is essential due to the rough and steep terrain of the area. The river valley flown through here is approximately 10 miles long. Back at the veterinary site, we finished tagging the sheep and affixing collars.
The sheep are now ready to be loaded into the trailer. This year we collected a total of 28 bighorn, 12 ewes, and 16 rams. That makes a total of 566 sheep over the 35 transfers since 1979. These captures are one of many ways Game and Fish has stewarded conservation for over a century and for many generations to come. Your support helps us save our species. <laughs>